oh, this sounds like a great opportunity. I must submit my job application. What am I supposed to send to them? Should I actually send across a CV? Or should I send across a resume? Oh wait, there's another important question. What about photographs? Should I actually put my photograph as part of my job application? I know, all of you are still struggling with these questions, and that's why I'm here. I'm Nidhi Balani, your interview coach. Welcome back to our channel and to our FAQ Sunday interview tips series. Now, this is part one of the video. I'll be making a few other parts to this particular video because I know there are a lot of questions in regards to this topic. But before you go ahead and watch this video, just want to tell you that there are a lot of informative videos that I have recently made in this series. Do go ahead and watch all of them, but later. So let's get started and let's address the first question. What is the difference between a CV and a resume? And what should I actually use? CV is a Latin term, which means the story of your life, also known as curriculum vitae, which is commonly used as a document that provides a detailed overview of an individual's experience, qualification and accomplishments, particularly those that are relevant to the academia. On the other hand, a resume is a short summary of an individual's skills, qualifications and education, and it is highly customized to a specific job application. Well, now that you know the difference between the CV and resume, let's find out when should you be using either of these? Now, this is something that you might find very interesting and you might not know this. This is very country specific because certain countries like UK, Ireland, Europe and New Zealand, they do not actually use the word resume, they use the word CV. But the default job application document used in United States and Canada is resume. But when it comes to countries like Australia, India, South Africa and most Asian countries, both CV and resume are used when you're sending out your job application. It honestly doesn't really matter because we do not want to get caught in the jargon of the words that are being specifically used because at the end of the day, what matters is what do you put inside that CV and resume when you're submitting your job application. Then how long should be our CV or our resume, which is our second question. Now, the length of the CV or resume basically can be anywhere between one to two pages. I usually don't recommend people to extend it to three pages unless you have a lot of work experience. Even then, it is better to actually ensure that your CV or resume do not extend beyond two pages. Now, the reason is because we all know that when the recruiters or the interviewers are looking at your CV, we glance through it. We usually go through it very, very fast. We've all heard about the seven second rule that the interviewers only spend about seven seconds when they are looking at your CV. You want to make sure that they get whatever they need to know in those seven seconds. Now let's go to the third question, which is, should I put my photograph in the CV or not? Now again, uh, putting your photograph in your CV is all about the job role that you're applying for. If an industry that you're applying for demands your appearance as one of the screening criteria, like for example, if you're applying for the job role of a cabin crew member, or if you're applying for, the, uh, for a modeling assignment, or for example, an act acting job, then in that case, your uh, appearance would make a lot of difference. Hence, they would require you to submit the photographs. But if you're applying for a job role of an admin or you know an executive position in a company, actually your photographs is not going to make that much of a difference. So that is why it's very, very specific to the job role. And of course, if your employer wants you to put the photographs, they will actually let you know. And that is why when you look through the job description page, they will actually tell you, uh, if you're submitting an application online, they will actually tell you whether you need to upload your photograph separately. And if it's not mentioned, of course, you can choose to upload it together with your CV. On the top right hand corner, you can actually put your professional photograph. Now that we've clarified that, let's move on to the next question, which is, should education be listed on top or should experience be listed on top? Freshers versus experienced candidates. Of course, if you are someone who is a fresher and you do not really have any work experience, you definitely want to rely on your educational qualifications to actually let your employers know that you have the required qualifications uh, to be able to, you know, attend this particular interview. And then based on the skills and based on all the life experience and the stories that you're going to share as part of your uh, interview question answer is what's going to give you that edge in comparison to someone else. But then if you're already someone who's experienced, uh, 
by all means, go ahead and put your experience on top and you can put your education at the bottom because in that case, education is sort of a qualifying criteria and your experience is going to speak for itself, hence giving you an edge in comparison to everyone else as well. So go ahead and look out for the next video because in the next video, I'm going to be actually talking about what are some key points or key areas in your CV where you can actually introduce this concept of tailoring your CV. We're going to talk a little bit about your personal summary. We're going to talk about uh, how to talk about your work experience in your CV and a lot of questions that I would love to address for all of you. But that's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and gained some valuable information. And if you did, please go ahead and like the video. Remember to share it so that other people can be benefited and at the same time, do remember to put in your comments and let me know what else do you want me to talk about in my upcoming videos. Continue to actually submit your questions on our website. Uh, there is a, a portal that we have created on the website that says ask me anything or ask Nidhi. Uh, you know, go ahead and put in all your questions and we'll be happy to take them up as dedicated videos in this series that I'm running, which I call FAQ Sunday Interview Tips. And at the same time, uh, we have been uh, organizing a lot of webinars uh, for experienced professionals who would like to grow at the same time, fresh graduates who are looking for opportunities. Do join us in our upcoming webinars. All the details are again on, on the website. Go ahead and sign up uh, so that we can see you and answer all your questions. In the meantime, all of you out there, uh, stay handsome, stay pretty, uh, be safe everyone, and I'll be guys.